Without question, Booker T. Washington was the single most well-known African-American of his time and may have been the most celebrated black person in the entire world. Future educator and orator, Booker T. Washington was born a slave on a Virginia plantation on April 5, 1856. He had to work as a young child, and so he had to juggle hours walking miles and miles to school and then rush back to work. It was very difficult, but he was determined, and that's how he learned to read and write. Washington was allowed to attend school while working as a servant. And in 1872, he befriended the founder of Hampton Institute, who offered him a scholarship to the school. The emphasis at school was on industrial education, on crafts, on technical skills, teaching blacks and the former slaves how to make themselves valuable to the community in a very literal way. Washington taught at Hampton before being appointed by General Samuel Armstrong to head the newly formed institute in Tuskegee in 1881. This was a groundbreaking endeavor because Armstrong trusted this young man to go to Alabama and create something basically out of nothing. During the post-Reconstruction period, tensions between African Americans and Southern whites were at a fever pitch. But as evidence of racial progress, Washington was asked to address a predominantly white audience at the 1895 Atlanta Expo. The speech turned Washington into a national figure. The Atlanta Compromise speech is viewed as controversial because he essentially said that politics was for mainstream society and the thing for African Americans was to be separate as the fingers on our hand and not involve ourselves with white society. Booker T. Washington saw that as a bargain that he had to strike. Those who disagreed with him felt that he had conceded far, far too much to the conservative white South. In 1900, Washington formed the National Negro Business League to promote the economic development of African Americans. One year later, he chronicled his life in the autobiography, Up From Slavery. Booker T. Washington's autobiography was one of the most influential books published by an African American at the turn of the century. Washington urged African Americans to accept their unequal position in society while secretly funding litigation for civil rights cases. In 1905, however, leaders such as W.E.B. Du Bois renounced Washington's philosophy and insisted upon full civil rights for all African Americans. There were people during Washington's time, and even now, who were very critical of Washington's racial politics. Washington was willing to trade political and voting rights for economic rights. And Du Bois and others said, that's too hard a bargain. Washington remained principal of Tuskegee and wrote a total of 14 books before his death on November 14, 1915. He was buried on the campus of Tuskegee University.